we want to learn how to get the surface area of a cylinder all right given that given a cylinder with radius r that is radius from here to here and then the height h all right so we are going to be getting surface area of a cylinder when um, both ends are closed in this video now in our subsequent videos we'll be doing when both ends are open and when one of the ends is open right surface area so how can we get it well we can do that easily by disassembling this cylinder over here so you think about um a, a thing of let's say pig milk right yeah let's just think about their brand a little bit so when you have a thing of pig milk okay you have um when you look at it you notice that the top uh, is made of a circular uh, shape all right and then the bottom as well is also circular in shape then when you take out the top take out the bottom like when we were small used to play i uh, will take out the top take out the bottom and then cut it uh cut this part like this and then we will stretch it when you stretch it you will observe that it's going to a rectangle will be formed right yeah a rectangle will be formed so to get the surface area of this cylinder here that is solid shape we need to get the area of each of these shapes right yeah and when we get that we are going to add them up so i'm going to write it as surface area of a cylinder all right going to so that's is, is, that's my full name okay so this is going to be equal to where we know my full name you can put it in the comment section below is ac that makes sense right okay so we are going to add the area of each of these shapes so this is a circle of course the area of a circle given that the radius is r is going to be pi r squared right and then this is another circle so maybe i can just add another one here pi r squared right and then we have to get the area of this rectangle how can we get the area of the rectangle well to get the area of the rectangle we need to know the side length here and then the, the length of this side we need to know the length of this side the length of this side we are done right given that this and this are the same this and this are the same so how can we get the length of this side well think about you know you, you, you are having uh, this thing here this thing right here right so when you cut it and you open it up you're going to have a rectangle now this height is going to become the length here the length here is going to be the h okay yeah what about this part well this uh length here this is kind of horizontal and this the way i'm drawing it you observe that it's going to be the same thing as the circumference of this circle because it was this circle that uh bound the the edge all right so if you open up this circle here and you stretch it you're going to be the same thing so what are we talking about the line that bind that bounds the circle and that is the circumference of the circle so you need to know the formula for finding the circumference of a circle given the radius is r the formula will be 2 pi r so to get the area of a rectangle is going to be one of the side lengths times one of the other side lengths all right that will be 2 pi r times h so we have plus okay 2 pi r times h boom so we just have to add all of this together this and this are the same so we get two of that plus 2 pi r h uh 2 pi r h all right and if you like you can factor out a common thing which is 2 pi r is common okay and then we're going to have r left here and then h left here and this right here is the formula for finding the surface area of a cylinder when two ends are closed who that when the two ends exist all right that's very nice isn't it okay thanks for watching and in our next video we're going to do when both ends are open that's when this place is zero no end and then when one of the ends is open maybe you can do that as a work uh like i said if you know my full name put it in the comment section below and i should also give um, give you a work to do surface area when Cylinder. when only one end is open put it in the comment section below okay i'll see you in the next video